So what is up Paros? In today's video I'm going to show you the difference between not pure potassium nitrate and fairly pure or more pure potassium nitrate. So how did I notice this difference between these two? Firstly I got this one and started making some black powder and when I went and tested out, as you can see there, it was burning very slow. So it kept burning slow even with more potassium nitrate added to the black powder mix. And I thought that the oxidizer is not good and that was the case actually. As you can see in this bowl, I don't know what are the impurities in this one, but as you can see it sticks to the bowl pretty much. And that never happens with potassium nitrate I got from the store I usually get it. This is from the other store because the one I bought from previously didn't have it. Also how did I notice the difference between these two is I started burning this and I know how clean potassium nitrate burns. This thing just kind of turns into moisture so it doesn't burn that much. You will see the test later. And this one as you can see on this stump it can fairly burn on its own. This one is much 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 cleaner than this thing. I may try to recrystallize to get the cleaner potassium nitrate. I'll probably actually make video about recrystallization and getting better potassium nitrate. If you're interested in that video let me know. Let's do now the tests with this and this and also some black powder made with both of these batches. Alright, here are the contestants for this test. So here we have more pure potassium nitrate or the one from that bowl that I bought recently. The previous one that made some of these compositions burn slow. That's called not pure. This is my regular leaf black powder, granulated black powder. So that's my regular leaf for shells and flower pots etc. Let me show you the granulation of the potassium nitrate. Not pure. It has a bit bigger granules than the pure one. There is more pure potassium nitrate. As you can see the granules are a bit smaller. So that's lime black powder. I used lime as charcoal and it's pretty fluffy and lightweight. There is the latest black powder made with not pure potassium nitrate. We'll see the test of that one. And there is my fasted granulated black powder. Yeah, there are the granules. And this is the latest black powder milled that I just took out of the bone mill and the video about that is coming soon on the channel. So the videos got a bit mixed since the potassium nitrate was not good and I gotta do a few tests before I put out the video about making black powder with unpure potassium nitrate. We'll see how that goes and let's do the tests. Also I forgot to mention this potassium nitrate I also have, that's finest potassium nitrate. That's the batch from a while ago that I milled for making flash powder. We'll also test this one to see how that burns, how this burns, how that burns. I think these two will burn pretty much the same. They are from the same store. We'll see. So first more pure potassium nitrate. As you can see it uses the wood as fuel and actually can burn it on itself. Let's see now the other one. There is the residue. Alright, this one next. So it doesn't burn as the previous one. As you can see it's much clearer. Only some of the potassium nitrate that's in this composition actually remains brown as you can see there as with the previous potassium nitrate. And this one next. Not burning that well since it's older and as you can see it's also brownish and not very clear as the previous one. 
I'm not sure what's happening with that composition. All right, I'll add some black powder as fuel to see if it burns, actually. So, not much. My regular lift black powder granulated. Latest black powder granulated. to my fastest granulated all right latest black powder milk and lime black powder milled If you look closely here, I have them side by side, non-pure and pure. I'm more used to this, this size of granules and this kind of consistency and I get good potassium nitrate and this is looking more like those fertilizers that contain more chemicals other than just one. So as you saw the tests, both for potassium nitrate and black powder, granulated one and also balmilled one, the results are a bit different and the non-pure potassium nitrate did affect the results of those black powders made with it. Also that powder one, potassium nitrate, I am not sure if it's very pure as the latest one I bought. And I did have the dextrin in all of the granulated ones, of course, and also in the ball milled one, as you saw there. And that also slowed down a bit more, the black powder made with non-pure potassium nitrate. So yeah, it's very important to have those pure chemicals which we usually do not get in agriculture stores and other stores and yeah there are some ways of purifying the chemicals such as recrystallization for potassium nitrate which i will probably do for the future video and to see what results that gets me so that's gonna be it for this one stay tuned for the future videos it'll be interesting and thanks for watching this one peace out